everyone, Crafting Vicky here with you and I'm here for another little Rolodex card. Those tiny little cards, I looked behind me in my stickers um, and my stickers that I had, sticker sheets, and I believe this was sent uh, in Happy Mail. So I've got this cutie little cat and he's barely going to fit, but he does fit. So I decided I was going to use this guy. So that's what we're using today. Maybe we should stamp this right away, uh, just because it's it got a better, much better stamp last time around that I did it straight from the start. So we'll do that right away. Yes, maybe that's the trick. <laughs> so for this, I'm gonna go in black and white. Just I just thought it'd be fun, um, and I thought this this um, this is a phone book. And I just thought it'd be fun to use it as the background. So that's what we're going to be using in, on, on this. And um, I guess I'm going to have to cut around. I'm going to cut it all around once I've done it. Which means including this, these tiny bits. So let's put some glue as well so that I have some leeway if I glue this wrong and it's also gonna make sure that the edges stay put so just gonna go ahead and glue this down it's a very thin paper so it's not gonna add much to the uh, roller decks. It's kind of like a newspaper almost. So it's something that my dad had put aside for me because he knows I like weird paper and things and they were still getting them at, in Sherbrooke which here in uh, Montreal, I haven't seen one of those in a while. Used to have the big thick ones, but it's been quite a long time since I've seen one of those. there. So not bad. And I'm going to go in and cut into this. And then I pulled out my um, black soot and thought I would use that as my, uh, for my little hard to do the edges and things because I would like the edge to be black. Um, I'm thinking of end writing the sentiment on this one because I'm thinking of putting your one cool cat as the as the sentiment because that's what he made me think. I thought of putting it as um of doing it uh, with alphabet letters but I've got a feeling it's going to be too big for the little card so that's why I'm going to go with um, doing it that way. I really love the black soot and the look that this is giving. The vibe is exactly what I was looking for so I'm happy that worked out. I can just put my little my little uh, inky thing in the bin. Okay, so then the little cat is going to go right over here, which I think he's going to be perfect. And then for the sentiment, I'm thinking maybe what I could do is is um, is put the text onto this 
like um so Sorry if I'm not talking. I didn't use my my uh, fountain pen because I've got a um, stub nib on it, which is kind of large, and I've got a feeling like if I put it on, uh, it's going to be the the writing is going to be too big. So I figured it's probably better not to do that. Um, could I cut this into two pieces? Maybe not. I don't think so, but I could probably cut it a tiny bit anyway. So let's let's see. Because I would like it to be two phrase, like two lines. Because I don't want to have like I'd like the I like it to be not too big. moved you are see like something like that let's put the little cat yeah something like that so now I'm gonna cut enough for this glue this on top and then this is not sticking that's not good And of course I don't have a lot of black on this one. There's more gray, but it doesn't matter. It's still gonna look okay, I guess. So long as I can get the sentiment to stick on this. Which I don't understand why it's not. That's a fun one. What do you guys think? Very simple, again, but these cards are so tiny that you can't do much with them, like you can't go overboard either. Um, so yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed. I will see you guys tomorrow. I can't believe we're already, uh, we already did seven days, pretty crazy. Um, so I'm hoping that you're enjoying this little series and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.